What's up everybody and welcome to another In Herbie's World, Herbie Jaws. And today we're going to be doing a drawing tutorial of a character from a video game that I took as a request from one of my subscribers. And that character is King K. Rule. And if you don't know who King K. Rule is, ooh, King K. Rule, <laughs> that's kind of hard to say really fast. He's from the Donkey Kong Country game. So we're going to draw him today and I'm going to show you all the supplies that you need right when we go up front on my board. So let's go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need is a mechanical pencil for sure. We're going to need a white pencil for highlighting later down the line. We're going to need an eraser for sure. And we're going to need, what else we're going to need? A variety of liner pens. We might need these and we might not. What I usually use to do my line art sometimes would be one of these chiseled pens. I'm probably going to end up using that. And we might need a paper stub. We might, we might not need it. And this stuff uh, is white out just in case you make too big of a mistake. And markers, whatever kind of markers you have, even crayons will do. All right, so now we're going to start drawing King K. Rule. And King K. Rule is a very chubby character. And today we're going to be drawing him in a kind of um, cartoon, cartoonish form because he's usually in a CGI form. So now we're going to try a cartoony form. And since he's a chubby guy, we're going to go with an egg shape. He's definitely egg shaped. So we're going to do an oval type shape. Just like so. Very roundish at the bottom. Cause that's where his belly is going to be. Let's make it a little bit more wider. He's going to be really fat. There we go. All right. And today we're actually going to be doing him like running. <laughs> if you guys didn't know. All right. There we go. We got a roundish kind of shape. And we're going to draw the first leg going outward. So we're going to draw a circle. This is all going to be skeleton first because we're trying to get a rough idea of what it's going to look like. So there we go, we got another circle right there. Go ahead and another circle right here. There we go, and another one pointing outward for the other leg. There we go. All right, his foot is going to be right here. So I'm going to draw just an indication of a foot. Same thing with this other side. All right, and for his hands, they're gonna be flailing outward, sort of like a Adventure Time character. <laughs> so this, the shoulder and his arms are gonna be pointing outward, like he's running away. There you go, elbows right here, and the forearm right here, and probably a hand right there. And his head is gonna be over here. That's just gonna be a circle, but it's not gonna be that round. <laughs> it's just an indication. And he's gonna be pointing that way. He's going to be looking that way. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and start filling this guy out. Now we're going to darken these lines, but we're going to do a boob because he seems to have boobs in this thing. <laughs> All right, a boob right there. And we're going to put a line going down, but not all the way down. We're going to stop it right there. And then we're going to start it again right at the bottom right here. And then we'll stop it right there. Now we're going to draw a line separating the skin and the plate of the bottom of his belly because he seems that his actual belly seems to be gold plated which to me never made sense but he's a king I guess he could afford to get his belly golden plated <laughs> it's too weird there we go we got a belly button right there now we're gonna put the leg right there kneecap there you go let's put a straight line going down and his calf muscle right here and the bottom of his leg right there now we're going to do his foot, and the foot is going to be a round heel, like so, let's round it up, and after that we're going to do the bottom, which is going to be the arch, and after that the bottom of his foot, which is going to be a ball, which is the ball of your feet basically, that's why they call it that, and we're going to do a toe, which is round, obviously, <laughs> and we're going to draw a claw, because his feet are clawed, so go ahead, it's pointing down, and we're going to do another toe, right behind it and the other claw is going to be pointing more upwards because he seems he's really excited and his toes are going everywhere. <laughs> there we go, another toe behind it and another toe going everywhere as well. There we go, we're going to do the same thing with the other foot but first we're going to do the indication that there's an actual leg first. <laughs> so there you go, we're drawing that leg first and after we're going to draw a hamstring, well not a hamstring, a knee. <laughs> Sorry I'm nervous again. Alright, there we go, we're going to draw a calf, 
right there and a leg straight going that way sweet we got to get rid of these lines afterwards because we're going to ink it and again we're going to draw the ball for a heel and an arch ball again and let's draw the top of the foot and round toes there you go and the claw on this one's going to be pointing the opposite way it's going to be pointing downward or upward and after another toe and this toe is going to be pointing with this claw that way and another toe and the toe is going to be pointing really really the opposite direction <laughs> Look at those crazy toes and so now we're going to clean it up a little just to get rid of some of these lines so we don't get confused about where we're going or drawing you can take your time on doing this because i don't want you guys to mess up or me to confuse you either there you go some of these lines are completely gone now but when we start inking they'll be completely gone this one was confusing me the most right now <laughs> there we go now it looks like a boob <laughs> now we're gonna put this line darker and does he have a nipple it looks like he does so we'll put one even though it looks weird <laughs> so now we're gonna oh in case you didn't know i'm looking at a reference picture of him i have to look at a reference because i don't know what he looks like i haven't looked at him for a while but i'm not copying the actual picture what i'm just looking at his, are his features because i really hate copying for some reason I encourage you guys to always draw your own pictures in your own way and today I decided I'm going to draw him like I'm drawing him running and for some reason I thought it was funny so yeah all right let's go ahead and keep on going now we're going to draw a shoulder muscle we're going to darken these in that's the top of his other arm because he's actually muscular it's kind of weird a uh, strong character that's a villain well most villains are strong for some reason <laughs> all right let's go ahead and draw an indication of an elbow his forearm right here and most of his forearm has this gold plated looking gauntlet thing. So there we go. We're going to draw an indication to that right there. And his hand is going to be ball fisted. So what we're going to do is just draw a box right now. There we go. Just like so. Almost looks like a boxing glove. All right. All right. So I have close the arm so I can erase this part just have it lightly seen so we could actually put indications that there actually is a hand that looks detailed so what we're gonna do is just put this line right here and draw some knuckles in just like so and after we're gonna draw the thumb just like so right there and the line connecting the two just like so there you go there goes a the hand let's go ahead and draw some lines right under it to show the chubbiness digits <laughs> right there let's draw this line again deeper and let's start erasing some of these lines they're getting really annoying but like right here and here and some right here as well e, there we go now let's go ahead and put an indication of an elbow right here and connect these two and now we're gonna draw his crocodile head and his crocodile head is probably going to be one of the easiest things to draw. So first thing we're going to do is get rid of that arrow that we drew in the beginning. And let's go ahead and draw his face. So his face is actually a round cheek. Just like so. It's pretty easy. And then after that we're going to draw a snout. Just straight forward. And then draw a nose. His nose is pretty big. There you go. And his bottom lip. And just draw a straight line across. There we go. Draw a little grimace right here. And then after I draw another line going outward. And after we're going to draw his bottom lip. The chin. And then after we're going to draw a line going right back to the cheek. Just like so. There we go. And now we're going to draw a little dimple. Or his little nostril. That's what I meant. Not a dimple. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Alright. And some teeth. There you go. You can put as many teeth as you want. For some reason, he has a lot of teeth, but he is a crocodile, so that makes sense. <laughs> and there we go. We're going to draw one going upward this way on the bottom. And that one. Same thing with this one. And I think that's enough indication for teeth. And now let's go ahead and draw his eyes. And his eyes have like this really big top brow. Just like so. And after that, the bottom of his eye. Just like so. And now we're going to draw the eye looking downward. 
There you go. You can just fill in a really big dark black dot. All right. So now we're going to draw the top of his head. It's going to be rounded at the top, but we're not going to leave it like that forever. And there you go. To the bottom of the cheek or the top of the cheek. And let's go ahead and just round that out. All right. So now with this part, we're not going to leave that there. We're just going to put a line just like so. And that's that straight up because it's going to be his crown. Just like so. And let's draw some spikiness on it. There we go. Sweet. And now some little circles at the top. And now what we're gonna do is draw his cloak. And what we're gonna do is put, we're gonna put a pendant just right here. Any kind of pendant will do, a circle, diamond, any kind. It's up to you guys. And then after that, we're gonna draw this connecting outward. We're gonna draw it overlapping his shoulder right here. And then going downward, you can darken this part in right here so you can make sure. And after that, we're gonna get rid of every little detail that we got in between the face and the top of his cloak or the bottom of his cloak. There we go. So let's go ahead and fill that in. And where the diamond is, let's put some wrinkles going upward. There we go, just like so. And that's not what we're gonna do, is we're gonna put some details on that cape. There we go, put some wrinkles. There we go. Let's get rid of some of these lines right here that are still visible, and some that were still invisible in the middle of the little pendant that we put on them. All right, so now we're gonna see how far this cape is gonna stretch out. So we're just gonna put a line going outward. Just like so. And after that, the tip is going to be right here. And after that, we're going to draw some folds. Just like so. And after that, we're just going to put a line going straight up again. Right here. Alright, now let's go ahead and connect this line from the belly. Finally to the bottom. Because we've done all the indications of everything that we needed. And I think we're ready to ink this drawing. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so you think we should draw an arm right here? I think we should. Because <laughs> it looks funny that it just has one arm. So let's go ahead and put an indication for an arm right here. And one going up that way. And the gauntlet right here. Yeah, now it definitely looks better. An elbow right here. Hey, can you see that? Yeah, <laughs> trying to make sure. I'm not sure if my hand's always in the way. So there you go. Elbow right there, gauntlet right here, and now we're gonna draw a fist. Or, I don't know what should we do. Should we draw him carrying something? I think it would be funny if we could draw him carrying something. So let's go ahead and draw his palms. Just like so. And his fingers are gonna be holding something. So let's see what he's gonna be holding. That's the bottom of his knuckle, by the way. Top of his finger. And his thumb is gonna be right here. So there we go. Gonna draw his finger, it's gonna be flat right there, and a claw, just like so. There we go. So it's gonna be flat, as you can tell. <laughs> so, what's he gonna be carrying? It's gonna be a plate of something. So, what is it gonna be? I'm not sure yet, <laughs> but it's gonna be something funny. All right, so I think I've decided it's gonna be some bananas. <laughs> I know it makes no sense. But since it was Donkey Kong, he probably stole his bananas. So yeah, I'm gonna draw just a bunch of bananas. Oy. It's gonna take forever. So I think I'm just gonna draw a bunch of loops. Make it look like it's bananas. A bunch of half-shaped moons. There we go. That's better. Oy. There we go. When we color it in, it'll look a lot better. All right, let's go ahead and get my hand out the way so you guys can see what I'm drawing. Uh, some bananas up on the top. There we go, a stack of bananas. 
Now we're gonna head, go ahead and ink it up. Guys, now the fun part, the coloring part. Now that we got all the inking done and the penciling that I put on it got rid of, or I erased it, not got rid of. <laughs> so now we're gonna color it in and I'm gonna show you what colors I'm gonna use. It's gonna be mostly green. It's gonna be kind of a goldish color right here, which I'm gonna show you how to do, yellow and a bunch of other colors. So let's go ahead and color it in. So for this green, I used the Oliver color, which is pretty awesome. All right, I'm gonna have to apologize again. My camera, once again, conked out on me and I missed out on a big portion that I did. And what I did, I drew this belly with a honey yellow and then I used another color. Let me see what that was. Uh, it was a burned orange for these little lines right here. And then after that, I used a white pencil, which I'm actually doing right now to do a little bit of highlighting to make it look like it's a shiny gold. So once again, I'm sorry everybody, I'm new to this and it's really embarrassing when this happens, it really sucks. Especially when I'm trying to show a tutorial for you guys to draw this guy. All right, let's go ahead and draw this right here. Once again, I apologize, it really sucks. All right, let's go ahead and draw some little white right here, make it look nice and shiny. And same thing for this side right here and on his crown. There you go, some right under here. There you go. So it kind of looks like it's shiny. <laughs> All right, there we go. His gold plated belly, same thing with his crown and his little garnets. Oh, I just noticed that I didn't draw his hand <laughs> that's holding the plate as a green color. So let's go ahead and do that. So now we're gonna do his cape. And his cape is gonna be a reddish color. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna wait for this to dry because I wanna be able to put some shadow behind here. Maybe I could do that now. Oh yeah, you can. Just hit it up a little bit darker so it could look nice and dark behind here. Same thing with the bottom of his arm, right here. So you get that nice shadow under his arm and the back of his cape. Let's do the same thing with the bottom of his leg, right here on the bottom of the cape. There we go, and some under his toes. There we go. And now I want you guys to take the lightest grayish color that you guys have, and I want you guys to use it for King K. Rool's eye, and not the entire eye. What I want you to do is just use it on the back of his eye. It'll be like an indication of shadow right there. Just a little bit. You can even use your pencil, just shade it in. And now for his gem, you can basically color it any color you would like. I'm gonna use a baby blue color. Looks really awesome right here. Really nice. I love baby blue. Let's go ahead and color in those bananas. And obviously the color of bananas is gonna be yellow. Now that we drew the bananas yellow, we're gonna draw half of those bananas a shade darker, and we're gonna go back and use the burnt orange, which is gonna be a nice shade to draw half of the bananas with. Now that we got the banana shaded, sorta, <laughs> now we're gonna draw this little plate thing, and we're gonna use the gray again, the lightest gray that you guys have, and just color it all in. a darker gray not too dark and after that we're gonna do some shading right under the bananas we're gonna take a grayish color and we're gonna see if we could put some texture to this guy because he is a crocodile so you want to see if we can put a little bit of texture to him don't press down too hard on it there you go let's put some over here Some on his leg. And some on the other leg. And I'm using a gray on a green. 
We're probably going to hit it up with a green again. And some on his hand and on his belly. Actually, we're probably just going to leave it like that because the texture actually looks pretty good. And it'll probably dry up and after you won't see it too much. All right, so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to use the white pencil and we're going to see where the light source is going to be hitting. And I'm going to see now, I think the light source is going to be coming from this way. So we're going to go ahead and start putting some highlights on this side. Highlights just on the cape. You don't need to put these for some reason. I just want to see what they look like. <laughs> All right, and the last thing that I think I'm gonna do for this one is just put a little floaty shadow under him, and let's see how that turns out. Usually, I like doing like little shadows, like right under them, just to make it look like something comical. There you go, just like so. Looks like he's jumping super high with those bananas. Must be super, super excited. <laughs> and there you go, guys. That's King K. Rule from Donkey Kong Country. And I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I know that I messed up pretty much into the belly part of this, but I'm hoping that's the only part I messed up. I hope you guys learned something from today. Especially this one, I actually enjoyed it a lot for some reason. I actually learned a couple of things. I learned that I could draw bananas, sorta. <laughs> so yeah guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned how to draw something. And I really encourage you guys to draw every day. Especially now that it's December and the new year's coming up. Try, try to see if you guys can draw something Christmassy. Cause I know I definitely wanna see you guys' art. So if you guys can draw something, see if you can drop me one on my Facebook page. And I want to see how it looks and especially I like critiquing people's art so I won't I will never say anyone's art sucks I never say anything like that I just say this needs improvement and stuff like that so yeah guys if you guys need me to judge your art just let me know and post it on my Facebook page so yeah guys if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up and if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet feel free to do so and as always guys thanks for your support and I'll see you guys later Thank you.